there everybody, Cindy Hartzell here with Synergistic Horsemanship and today I wanted to talk about some essential oils and aromatherapy around your barn during this time of the coronavirus um, issues that we are all having. So I started using essential oils back in 2000. I was introduced to them by a friend of mine and I have been an avid user ever since. I have actually even gone through equine aromatherapy training. So I teach a lot about aromatherapy with horses, cats, and dogs. The oils that I wanna talk about today are five different oils that I use not only for myself, for my kids, my family, in our veterinary practice, in our barn, and on my horses. So I'm going to go today from left to right. The first oil that I want to talk about on the right is a Young Living Essential Oil, oil product called Purification. And what Purification does is it helps to purify the air in the environment. It also can help you when you apply it onto yourself or inhale it, it can help to strengthen your immune system. Actually, every one of these oils that I'm gonna talk about today are basically antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal. Um, they can help disinfect your environment. And so the way that I would recommend using these oils is you could put them in the stall, in the uh, bathrooms of your stable facility. You could have them in a little spritzer bottle with water so that your boarders or yourself, your employees, whoever's there visiting your barn, could actually spray them on themselves you could spray them in the bathroom. You could put them in a diffuser. So purification helps to purify the air. It is a wonderful product. It's also a great bug um, repellent that I use on my horses, my cats, and my dogs, and my kids, and my grandkids. Um, you can diffuse these in your barn. You can diffuse them in the bathrooms. You can diffuse them in the tack rooms. The next product that I like, and I recommend anybody who wants to get into using essential oils, that lavender is the go-to oil to have. It is a antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, antispasmatic, has an analgesic, is an antihistamine, has antiviral properties. It is a wonderful product. You can use it straight on cuts and wounds. Um, again, you can apply it two or three drops in the palm of your hand, rub it on your neck, smell it. Aromatherapy has been around for centuries. It is, um, I don't know how much I want to get into actual essential oils and how they work, but by smelling the oils, they go up through your nose, onto the hairs of your nose. They travel up into your brain, to the olfactory part of your brain. At that point, it goes into the limbic system and on to the hypothalamus. And then through the molecule sizes is how it is distributed throughout your body. They, I use them a lot with horses. I wanna tell you, if you have horses that are being drug tested for any reason, any essential oil can test positive. So does that mean you shouldn't diffuse them in your barn? No, what it means is just no, you don't wanna be directly applying them to your horse or having them smell them directly out of the bottle within 72 hours of going to an event. That's what I tell, I taught a whole bunch of endurance riders in Texas and they were worried about that and that is what we can tell you about essential oils. So there's your lavender, there's your purification. The next one is RC for the respiratory uh, system. The C is circulation. Um, this is a great essential oil to support and boost your respiratory system. Again, putting some in your diffuser, in your bathrooms, putting some in bottles with with water to make it diluted to help them uh, the drops go further spray them 
you know, spray them, inhale them. I've been using RC. I have had some respiratory issues these last few weeks, and I've been using that oil, inhaling it, warm compressing it on my chest. But again, we're talking about what can you use in your barn during this time of the corona outbreak that is a safe product to use for around horses, cats, dogs. Cats are a little sensitive to oils. Kids um, and can be diffused in your barn. Um, there's barns that have the spritzers, you know, that do deodorizers or fly sprays during the fly season. This is a great way to diffuse your barn with these products. The next one is Thieves. It's an, it's an interesting blend. It uh, got its name from back in England when they were um, being stricken with the plague. There were a handful of thieves that were going around robbing from the sick and the dying. And when the authorities caught up with them, they said, we will let you guys go free if you can tell us how you kept from getting the plague. And what they revealed was all the different oils that are in this bottle. That's how it's got its name, Thieves. It's got cinnamon in it, so for those who might be sensitive to hot, spicy oils, I wouldn't recommend putting it directly on your skin, but again, smelling it and diffusing it, beautiful, beautiful way to protect your environment. The last one is an oil made by a company called Revive. I've just started exploring this company's oils because they are high quality oils, for a fraction of the cost of Young Living Oils. I am still pretty attached to my Young Living Essential Oils, but I am exploring these Revive because I, again, am on a budget, as well as so many of my clients, so I wanna be able to offer them an alternative. This one is called Super Defense. It is comparable to Young Living Essential Oils ImmuPower, and it does just that. It abused your immune system. I am using this oil along with the RC every day. I rub the uh, Super Defense, three drops on my hands, and then I'm rubbing all on my ears because those are, um, uh, uh, they have acupressure points. I'm forgetting the name, so how embarrassing. But anyway, you can rub them on your oil, your ears, and it will affect all of your organ systems. Um, I'm using those two oils a lot every day and then with the lavender I'm taking a warm magnesium mineral salt bath with lavender in it to support my immune system during this time of um, dealing with this respiratory issue I have. So those are the five oils that all of you can purchase online and um, start diffusing in your barn. One of the things that I do with essential oils, like the RC oil, uh, the two little Mustangs that you saw in my video on stall cleaning, when I got them, little Katniss, the little sorrel one, came um, with an upper respiratory infection and they were wild, so I couldn't get my hands on them. So what I did was I went to Petco and I bought a rope dog toy that had a tennis ball on it. I took several drops of RC essential oil on that rope and on that tennis ball and then I hung it in the beam in their shelter so that whenever she was in there she was getting that aromatherapy and aromatherapy is so powerful with horses because their noses are so much bigger and they have such a higher sense of smell that they actually absorb uh, can inhale those molecules and get them into their system and help support whatever part of the body those oils are specifically designed to address so these oils can be diffused in your barn and in your bathrooms much in the same way. You can go to Petco or anywhere and get some of those rope toys, pour some drops on there. I put, I think, 10 drops every day on, of RC on that rope toy and hung it in the barn. That's all I was able to do for this little filly because I couldn't get my hands on her and she did um, get over that respiratory condition without too much problems. So there you guys go. Quick little crash course on aromatherapy and essential oils with horses and around the barn. Um, we will be doing a series of essential oils, an actual online course that will be offered through Synergistic Horsemanship, our private membership program that we'll be launching pretty soon. So what I'd love to have you guys do, any comments, any questions, you want more information on these oils, please comment in the section below. 
please be sure to like our uh, this this uh, video. Sorry, guys, and subscribe to our stations. Again, we love being able to share with you our knowledge, our wisdom, our experience. We hope that you guys are finding value in everything we do, and we look forward to the next time we have a video to share with you. Until then, be safe, be well, take care of your horses, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.